Like we usually do, we'll look at our fixed effect test section and look at what effects we have. So expertise here overall doesn't seem to have an effect on ratings. It doesn't seem to be the case that overall experts and novices are making different ratings on average. We do have an endorser effect, statistically significant here, 0 0.0010. And we have an interaction between expertise and endorsers. So we have evidence already that whatever effect there is of endorser depends on the expertise of an individual. Or said differently, whatever expertise effect there is depends on which endorser they're making ratings of. Now, that second way is a little bit stranger to think about it. Usually when we think about between subject and within subject interactions, it's usually easier to say that the effect of the within subject factor, endorser, depends on the thing that differs among these people, expertise. But let's follow up on these effects that we've just looked at and see what details we can find. So I'll produce the plot for expertise. Even though we didn't find a statistically significant effect, I always like to look at these least squares means plots. So experts, a tiny bit lower than novices numerically, but again, no evidence that this is true in the population. Let's scroll down and look at our effective endorser. So I'll produce the least squares means plot here, and we can see that overall, when ratings are made from celebrity endorsers, they're given a higher rating than when they're made by unknown endorsers. So that effect was statistically significant. We do have evidence that overall, individuals when they make ratings of endorsers who are celebrities are getting higher ratings for the ads than endorsers who are unknown. But we have a statistically significant interaction, so let's hold off on our judgment about the endorser effect, because that statistically significant interaction may qualify what we can say about that main effect. So I'll scroll down to the section, Expertise by Endorser, and let's produce the plot for this. Let me scroll down a little bit more, and I'll actually expand this out to make it a little bigger. So grab the corner and just drag it out. Now, also for clarity, let me drag up the actual axis so we can see the effect a little more clearly. And so let's actually look at the way we have our axes set up. Right now on the x-axis is the endorser, so celebrity or unknown endorsers, and our separate lines are the between subject levels, so whether somebody is an expert or whether they're a novice. So here, notice that for experts, there's not a very big effect of the difference between celebrity and unknown. It is the case that when an expert sees a celebrity ad, they're actually rating it now a little bit lower numerically than for an unknown individual. Now we can follow up on that doing a pairwise test. Under the red triangle, we can use contrast, students T, or even Tukey HSD to get that test. But let's hold off on that for now and let's look at what happened for novices. So for novices, there seems to be a large effect of celebrity endorsement. That is, when a novice is making a rating of an unknown person, they give relatively low ratings, but when they're making a rating of a celebrity endorsed product, they're giving it fairly higher ratings. Now the effect size here is kind of small. We're talking about a difference between, in this case, 53 and 49. So that may not be a practically significant difference, but certainly we can tell that the ratings of the novices are differing from the ratings of the experts. That's what the interaction term told us. So now let's actually follow up on this with some pairwise tests. I'm going to go to the red triangle and I'm going to use least squares means contrast. These are actually my favorite way to do this since we can draw out the specific tests we want to run instead of just running all of them. So I'll set up a contrast panel here and let's first make the comparison between, for experts, celebrity versus unknown. So under the expert section, I'll give a plus to one of these, celebrity, and a minus to the other. And that'll be the comparison between, for just experts, the celebrity mean and the unknown mean. Let me click done. So we get our first test, p equals 0 0.3510. So no evidence here really that these means are differing in the population. Now again, we haven't shown that they're the same in the population. We haven't affirmed the null. We've just failed to find evidence that they're differing. But let's try another contrast. So I'll invoke another contrast panel. And let's do the same thing for novices. So let's compare the mean for celebrity for novices, so that's the mean right here, against novice unknown. So I'll give that a minus one. So that's a contrast between this point here, celebrity for novices, and unknown for novices. Let me click done and we'll get this test. Notice we do have a statistically significant effect here. We have evidence that novices, when making ratings of ads, some endorsed by celebrity and some endorsed by unknown people, are giving higher ratings to those ads endorsed by celebrities. So in fact, our interaction test from the effect test section above, the interaction in the model, is really giving us the evidence here that these two effects are different. 
just the fact that one of them is not statistically significant and one is, isn't evidence that the pattern of effects is really different for the different people, so for the experts and novices. This is a nice way to follow up on the test, but we can have situations where both of these are statistically significant and we still have an interaction. That's a case where maybe the effect is stronger in one case than the other. So the interaction term is really giving us the basic evidence that whatever pattern there is for endorser, whatever that effect is, depends on the level of expertise. So these follow-up contrasts are a nice way to round out your picture. So remember, when you're doing analyses, you're not simply wedded to your p-values, you're not simply wedded to looking at specific things. You are a scientist that is looking at and really trying to discover what the meaning is in your data. So interpret your whole analysis holistically. You're trying to figure out what's going on in the data, and all these pieces come together to help you round out the picture. So in this case, we found evidence for the interaction, and then we followed up on it in order to get more information. So now we're able to say something a little bit more specific. We don't have evidence that experts are making a different type of rating for celebrity and unknown. We haven't affirmed the null. We don't have evidence to reject it yet. But we do have evidence that novices are sensitive to this difference. So if we're marketing or if we're trying to figure out a way to come up with an ad, we should certainly try to market to novices using celebrities. But if we have experts in our audience, maybe it does help, maybe it doesn't help. We don't really have evidence here either way.